Welcome to this week six edition of our Touchdown Friday preview show. It's Friday afternoon. We're getting set for a big show coming up later on tonight. Our cast of characters here, <laughs> Noah Knight on my right, on my left, Ken Watling, and of course, Kelsey O'Donnell. As we get set for high school football tonight, let's talk about our game of the week first. It's North Illinois and Green Central, matchup in the Eastern Carolina 2A Conference. And when you look at this matchup, they're old rivals, but North Illinois is a surprise at 5-0. and Yeah, no kidding. And not only will it probably be a pretty good game, but there's some great storylines behind this game as well. You look at Green Central under a first-year head coach who's been coaching for 20 years. Just got his first win two weeks ago. They beat Farmville Central their last time out as well. So 2-2 two and two coming into the season. And North Lenore last season 0-11. They didn't win a game and now they come into this this week undefeated. I'm sure there aren't even that many teams in the history of North Carolina high school football that have had that much of a turnaround. So when you look at the two teams and how good they are going into this game and the storylines behind them, it was an easy pick for the game of the week. It should be a good one in LaGrange coming up tonight in New Newburn, our backyard brawl, old rivals in yes. J.H. Rose and Newburn. For so many years, these two would play for conference championships. You know, not only have they played great games during the regular season, both schools have multiple state championships, and both teams uh, may be in, headed in different directions this year, though. Greenville Rose was the preseason pick to win the conference, but they're two and three overall. They've lost three straight games coming into this one. And then you've got the Newburn Bears, who have really struggled the last couple of years. They get a brand new coach and uh, Coach Tory now, and now they're four and oh. So. You know, what's going to happen tonight? We'll find out. It's always a great game, though, between these two. I think Newburn's favored. I think Rose is going to play them pretty tough. I look for a close game in this one. Bears and the Rampants. Now, Kelsey's got the long road trip. She drew the short <laughs> straw, and she's headed to uh, Goldsboro tonight. Wayne County, a couple of matchups. Conley, well, for her it is, because she gets lost going around the block. She's, <laughs> she's got Conley <laughs> and South Central both on the road. What do you think of these matchups? Yeah, so Conley and South Central, I think, or Southern Wayne, I'm sorry, right. Um I think it'll be an interesting game. You know, they're both kind of off to a rough start. Conley got their first win last week. Um, but, I mean, Conley 1-3, and three, Southern Wayne 1-4, and four, so that'll be interesting. Then I'm headed down the road to South Central at ACOC. Um, South Central 3-2, and two, ACOC 4-1, and one, so it should be a pretty interesting game as and well. You, and when you look at the Eastern kind of 3A, 4A, the, the, the Goldsboro schools, ACOC, and, you know, ACOC and Southern Wayne, Eastern Wayne, they all want to try to move up in that upper mm-hmm. echelon, and, and that's going to be a, a real tough uh, deal for those folks. But I talked to Nate Connor last night at D.H. Conley, and he said Southern Wayne's got a little better team. They've got some good athletes, and he looks for, you know, maybe not the most difficult assignment out there, but he thinks it's going to be tougher than maybe it looks on paper because usually Conley takes care of business. What else do you see on this Friday night? You get one game, i got a whole bunch of them to cover later on tonight. Let's talk about some of your games in. Okay, let's look at some of those games. Down south tonight, we're going to have highlights with Southern Nash, Northside Jacksonville. That should be interesting because Southern Nash can run the football. Jacksonville at White Oak, Dixon at Southwest Onslow, and Trask at Richland. So all that's coming up from down south. Our Raleigh friends are getting us North Pitt at East Wake. That's a matchup of two winless teams. So something's got to give in that game. Somebody's going to get their first victory of the season in that one. We'll have highlights of Bethel Academy coming up later on tonight. We'll have that for you. Also down in Wilmington, East Carteret makes a trip down to Pender. You know a little bit about the Wilmington schools. We'll have those highlights for you later on tonight. West Craven at home against South Lenore. Uh, Hertford County at home against East Duplin. Good matchup there. I'm looking forward to that. Got to go to a to get those Hertford County Bears. So it should be a good night. Coming up tonight, week six of the high school football season for Touchdown Friday. We'll see you at 11.05.